with the song and one, two, three, hey, ooh, say what, say what, say what, you know that I like you. Welcome back to Say What's Sunday, everybody. I have so much bullshit on the menu for you. Wait, no, you gotta do it the SW way. For you. Let's go ahead and start off with Hazley. So Hazley was fired from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. She actually got fired two weeks before she made all of these very homophobic comments, but apparently she got fired two weeks prior just because the crew was just over her. They said that she wore out her welcome. I have opinions on this. First of all, I wanna to speak to the fact that Hazel E had put up an Instagram post coming for dark skinned women, saying that they didn't pass the paper bag test and they were mad about that. She also said that her mom let her know that girls were gonna be jealous of her, uh, darker skinned girls were gonna be jealous of her growing up because you know she's pretty and this is that and the third. I just wanna, I wanna comment on that first. Let me just say this, parents, I know my demographic, parents are watching this video. If you're a parent or guardian to someone who is light skinned, please stop putting them on this pedestal and telling them that there's gonna be dark skinned girls or guys that are gonna be jealous of them because of their because of how light their skin is or how pretty they are. Because what you're doing, you're not necessarily prepping them to be bullied. What you're doing is you're putting them on a pedestal to make them believe that they are above people who are dark skinned. Just because your child has light eyes and is the same color as, you know, like melted butter, that doesn't mean that they're more attractive. It just means that they lighter. That's it. Now, Paisley, your wig is trash. It's always been trash. You super ugly, and that is a fact. And your boyfriend's gay. So, Paisley's boyfriend, I don't know his name, who was also on the show with her, went on Instagram, put up a post, and basically saying he's 25, and he's he's part of Paru, and um, he believes that gay shit burn in hell. You know, Hazley was in the comments on that Instagram post, and she co-signed and said that she also agrees that gays will burn in hell. I would rather do that than to be with Hazley. I don't think Hazel realizes that her role on the show was to be laughed at. Like, we were never rooting for you, ever. We were always laughing at you. We were laughing at the fact that you thought that you had all this money. We were laughing at the fact that you showed up in a motherfucking helicopter knowing damn well you bought that shit on credit. We was laughing at the fact that you really think that you're this like big and bad, but you wrote a book. Let's bring up an image of, of uh, Hazley's book. So Hazley has a book called Girl Code. Why does the cover of your book look like a flyer for a lesbian party? And do you see that rating? That is one star and 10 cents. And you have the nerve to tell someone what they should do with their life and where they're gonna end up after it's over. Your nose looks like a beauty blender. Your weave is trash, your wig is trash. I'm really just sick of all you bitches in Hollywood with big teeth, like all y'all need to calm the fuck down. And to Hazelie's boyfriend, um, I really hope that he gets all this anger out for this man who's so fervently straight. I hope that you get all this anger out um, in a salubrious manner. You feel some type of way because now your masculinity is being challenged, so. I hope you get that shit figured out, but um, leave us out of it. Gucci Mane and Keisha, Kyle, or, I don't know. Gucci Mane and Keisha got married just a few days ago, and this wedding looked like YouTube black. There were so many diamonds. I I thought I was watching Frozen. Apparently, they spent $1.7 million on the celebration. Also, I do want to mention, I don't know a whole lot about Gucci and Keisha's history. I just know that they've been together for a while, and she was with him even before the glow up. But I also want to say that ladies that saw this story and thought that all I got to do is stay with this nigga until he act right and he lose weight and he start brushing his teeth and then we gonna be good. I want y'all to know this is literally like 0.01% of the world. This is most like most more than likely, most likely ne never, then that's a fact gonna happen to you. Just be wise when it comes to your relationships. And congrats Gucci and Keisha. And lastly, some good news. We got our very first transgender model in Playboy. It's either Ines or Enos Ro, Rao. I'm doing my best. She says that she has bigger aspirations of being like an action star. She wants to get into acting and all that. But this is a big W for the trans community, but I also want to say it's a big W for all the other communities as well because it teaches everybody acceptance and tolerance. Do you see what happens when we're inclusive? Do you see what happens when we're not being complete assholes? Do you see what happens when we don't want to make America great again and we just want to make it chill as fuck? So a round of applause for Miss Ines Enos. I am so sorry. That's today's Say What's Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know these videos are short and I know you have a problem with them being so short. But the problem is, y'all, I write, record, edit these videos all on the same day just so I can get it up to you. I normally try to keep it to like three, four stories. 
But what I'll do is, that, is if there's something that I did not cover that you really wanna see covered, uh, put it in the comments. And if it gets over 120 likes, then I will cover it in the next video. And if we get a few, I'm gonna have to pick one because I wanna enjoy my Sunday too, okay? I'll see y'all very soon in another video. My girl. <laughs>